able to get back in the game and she did shake her head yes so I guess it will kind of be a play on the moment and see how things transpire but she seems to be doing okay right now. Excellent good news thank you Robin so looks like she just took a shot to the head probably just hurts a little bit and I'm sure that they would be judicious enough if they needed to go into the concussion protocol they would but they asked her how she felt about going back in the game that's good news to hear that she thinks that she would be able to get back out there. <laughs> And it is, but I I feel like you can only trust <laughs> trust a player yeah. so much because just about any player sometimes uh, thinks they they can do anything and be superwoman, and you always got to be cautious. And Jasmine Thomas with her second three of the game. She now has 12, so she at the moment is the leading scorer for the Sun. What is Lindsay Allen? Jasmine Thomas on the reach and foul. First game in the history of the Las Vegas Aces. It's good to have them in the league. This is a this is a franchise that can that really has some promise. That's a city now that has a lot of exciting things going on in terms of professional well, sports. Think about I mean the fact you bring up the Las Vegas Golden Knights and what an incredible season still going that they had thus far in their inaugural NHL season. The Raiders, the Oakland Raiders, as they prepare to move to Las Vegas. And, and even to Bob and I have the pleasure of seeing the Las Vegas Summer League for the NBA that takes place every summer. And most teams have played in it. Well, this will be the first summer that all 30 teams will be playing there. And, and the turnout is absolutely tremendous. And the amount of people that you have that well, residents of Las Vegas that, that want to be there, want to support a team and get a chance to watch some of these fine players and excellent basketball that they play, but also people visiting and in town. It, it's definitely something that can draw a lot of attention and excitement. What a great setup there from Jasmine Thomas, finding John Quill Jones. Jones, working off of the bench today, now has six, has the rebound. Speaking of rebounds, Alyssa Thomas has 15 of them in this game, and that's a new career high for her. Jasmine Thomas off of the mark that time. And then John Quill Jones kept it alive. And the jump shot is good from Benigia Laney. Welcome to the Connecticut Sun. Now Laney is someone who worked through training camp and, you know, a lot of excellent players that Kurt Miller had to choose from. We talked about Laney in a big part. Look at her physicality, the way she can defend, how she can move, the size that she brings, some added depth to that wing position. Good hustle play there by Alyssa. Lee pass Alex Bentley. Connects with Laney. Off of the glass. Doesn't go that time. Wilson has the rebound. Her eighth board to go along with 12 points. Tamara Young beats everybody the hole. Young now has 12. Three players in double figures for Vegas. Young, Wilson, and Nia Coffey. But it's the Sun by a comfortable margin. 22-point lead, Connecticut lead. Under two to go in the quarter as Alex Bentley remains hot from the field. Alex, who as we have mentioned on several occasions, Sarah, had a good training camp. Now four for seven from the field. 10 points off the bench. Well, in Alex Bentley, she, of course, can defend as we watch here, but her scoring ability, the quickness of her pull-up, three-point shooting, she's shown how much she continues to improve her range. That's the rookie out, a rookie out of LSU, Ray Jean Lewis, knocking down the jumper. The all sun right now. You can imagine in this fourth quarter, Kurt Miller's going to get a chance to Give some minutes to extend a minute to her, Laney. Good pass. Alyssa Thomas wide open. 73-49 Connecticut. Alyssa Thomas to go along with the 16 points. And a great knockdown, but that play was created by Laney. And I should have said 16 rebounds, 11 points. And Thomas looks for the assist and it gets knocked away. And the foul. This is one of those moments in the game where you get the big lead for Connecticut. Things can get a little helter-skelter well, now. And I think, too, for Laney, just try, we saw her there on that play trying to share the ball. And she's someone who, 
I mean, we mentioned Chinea Agumake, the comeback. Laney had a season-ending knee surgery in 2016. It, in many ways, may have cost her a spot on the roster with Chicago Sky back in 2017. But she's played in Australia this offseason. She averaged nearly 15 points, five rebounds, four assists. It, Rachel Bannum was also out in Australia, but she's put in a lot of work, and you can see how healthy and spry that she is now at this point. Good chuck ahead by John Quell. Laney thought about it. This is her game. Drive the hole. Gets knocked down hard. We play on. End of the quarter. As the shimmel shot is far off of the mark. So a good third quarter for the Sun. They double up the Aces in the quarter, outscoring the 24-12. They lead a 73-49. Fourth quarter is next. Along today on Twitter, right now, uh, in addition to our game, Indiana at Washington. The Mystics lead that game 61-51. to We've seen Indiana during this three-game homestand to open the year. Sun get Los Angeles on Thursday, then Indiana on Saturday, and Kelsey Bone is called on the traveling violation. Kelsey, as we mentioned earlier, she now lives in Las Vegas and will play for the Aces, trying to... Jumpstart her career was with Connecticut and traded to Phoenix, the trade that brought Courtney Williams to the Sun. Here's Rachel Bannum in the game. Good to see her. And we're also going to see the Sun's first round draft pick right now. That's Lexi Brown, who just gave up for John Quill. Good shooter. Ah, almost. Doesn't go, but you can see the stroke she has, the rotation on that ball. Spot on. She's, she's going to make a lot of three pointers in her time. Well, she has a steal. She has a lot of family in attendance here today. Nice move by Jonquil Jones. Might have seen a little bit of the rust right there, though, on well, the shot. And, and that's it at this point of the game. Fatigue setting in, too, and her, how she continued. The rust, one thing, and also just where her wind's at, where her legs are at. Alexi Brown, that was quite a crossover, and she does offensively have a lot of moves. She's great with her handles, and she's a player who could play the one or the two for Kurt Miller, possibly even the three if she needs to. And as he said, her offensive game a little further along than defensively, and that often happens with a rookie as you get used to the physicality of the game. But she was the defensive player of the year in the ACC. Trying to run down that bone miss. Doesn't matter for the Sun as they come away with it anyway. Morgan Tuck for Bentley. A lot of bench players are going to get a chance to shine here in the fourth as Bannum hits the three. Rachel Bannum was doing that all preseason. Five for ten in the preseason, one for one in the regular season. Tremendous training camp. We know that she's got such a quick tri trigger. She gets her footwork done before the catch, so she's ready to release. And you mentioned this. We talked about it with Morgan Tuck. A major factor is just being healthy, and she's as healthy as as she's ever felt, you can see that in her confidence. She had a tremendous offseason in Australia. Backcourt violation on the Aces. Rough opener for them, but you know what? It's going to get better. And that's the thing. We, we can't repeat it enough. To be playing and doing what they are without Kelsey Plum, without Kayla McBride, without Isabel Harrison, those three were the leading scorers and making the most impact against the Sun last season. Also without Mariah Jefferson. And you never want to be missing any players, but sometimes when it's those who really initiate the offense and, and your guard and your backcourt, it makes such a difference. And you see the foul there, John Paul Jones working the baseline. And I think, too, what we'll continue to see and what we saw last year out of John Paul Jones that made her so dominant was the quickness of her footwork, her decisiveness when she caught the ball underneath the basket. And we're not quite seeing that yet, and understandably so, since her first practice was just two days ago. But that's something 